it's uh, it's been raining here in Southern California for the last three weeks, so I haven't really had an opportunity to go out and uh, hit, except for the few days that has been dry. Um, so coming to you in a different format here, where I'm in the studio, or AKA my kitchen, um, instead of on the court. Uh, but I was lucky enough, um, this, is my, this is my usual stick, my trusty um, VCOR 95. Don't know if the camera's focusing on that or on my eyes. Um, and this is the new 2023 VCOR 95. Uh, I got lucky in that as soon as these were available for demo at uh, Tennis Warehouse, I was able to request for one of these um, strong with multi-filament, just like I have in my 95. Uh, don't think it's the same multi-filament, but um, you know, I was lucky enough again yesterday to go and hit with a couple of legends uh, for a couple of hours, as well as uh, rally with my daughter uh, with this new 95, as well as my old 95. Um, this is just giving kind of a comparison of what these two sticks look like. Um, what I see as little subtle differences, uh, especially in the throat area right here, is a very subtle change in the way this new stick is. Um, the old stick comes to a nice rounded point right here. Uh, and the new one is a little bit wider. Um, I don't know if you see that. By the way, this is also being, uh, the audio's been captured on my, uh, on my um, Rode Wireless Go 2. Um, so I'm also trying out a different um, audio device. But uh, since Tennis Warehouse charges the same amount for one demo stick or three demo sticks, I ended up getting a 98 plus from the previous generation, as well as a 98. Hope the camera's focusing. Um, I've always been a huge fan of the plus um, sticks. That extra half an inch, um, ha ha, uh, joke all you want, um, really does complement my game. Um, I have always um, loved playing with the Ezo 98 Plus. Uh, now that my daughter's playing with it, I've switched over to my 95. Um, but to me, I've always felt like if there's a 95 Plus, that would be my ideal stick. That would be the stick that would suit everything, and uh, a stick that would have everything I'm looking for uh, in terms of a player's racket. Um, so 98 plus, this is probably, again, from previous generation, this is probably the closest um, I will get to a uh, 95 plus. Although 98, um, I don't know. Uh, this actually played a lot like the Ezone 98 plus, except it's a little bit whippier. So there's not that much difference between this generation of 98 plus with the E-Core um, and the, uh, the Ezone. Uh, that we that, that I used to use. Um, yeah, and I played with the, this one a little bit. Primarily, I spent yesterday playing with my daughter, um, trying to get a feel for the 95. Um, but I did manage to get some serves in again with a 98 plus. Um, so surprising, well, uh, not surprisingly, because I am used to the plus bracket, I had a much better time serving with the plus than I did with just a plain 98. And even though this is the newer generation, it's supposed to have a little bit more pop. I was getting significantly more pop from the plus version. Um, and uh, I, I guess it's gen gen generally the way I hold my racket. It sits here on the butt of my hand uh, for serves on a continental grip. And then my pinky barely wraps around, um, uh, especially on a plus racket for my serves to get, uh, with that extra half an inch, it moves the strike point. I can now strike the ball slightly higher uh, to generate more um, velocity. And the 98 Plus is, uh, the Plus version of the rackets are, are just phenomenal for generating um, a lot of speed on the flat serves. Um, spinny serves, not so much. Again, spinny serves have never been part of my game. Uh, I could slice just fine my, um, my kick serve is non-existent. Um, uh, 
But uh, for spinning serves, it's about the same. But for, for, for flat serves, the extra length really comes in handy. And just for little comparison purposes, if we were able to line up where the base of the throat is, this is where the difference in terms of the racket is. Um, as you can see, the throat is lined up and the handle is a little bit longer. Um, the plush racket is also fantastic for a two-handed backhand, uh, although my daughter tried this racket and she hated it. She loves her Ezone 98 Plus. Um, although her exact, her exact words were, I can't, fit, I can't tell the difference between these guys. But um, in regards to this though, um, I think out of the three um, testers that I got, the 98 Plus, the 98, and 95, the 98 was probably my least favorite. Uh, I've never been, I mean, I, I've never uh, quite gotten used to the 98. If I were to use the 98 from v, uh, from Yonex, it would be the 98 V Core Plus. Uh, is still my preference, um, not the V Core Plus, the E Zone Plus. The E Zone 98 Plus would be my preference for 98. Um, the V Core hasn't hasn't really uh, struck struck a chord. Is that right? Yeah. The V Core 98 hasn't really struck a chord with me. Although this stick actually played fine. Um, Compared to the 95, um, has a lot more power. Um, again, I think it's primarily just you know my my strokes aren't refined enough uh, that I can switch from one to the other quickly uh, and be able to adjust quickly to make sure the the ball has plenty of spin to die back and on the court. Um, and that one-handed backhand again, the flat one-handed backhand does not does not um, does not suit this particular racket well. But uh, since I got the last generation 98 and the new generation 98, I also wanted to point out, I don't know if I could get them to line up, um, that again, the string pattern's been changed enough where uh, the bottom half, like these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven-ish strings has opened up a lot more compared to the previous generation 98 because um, even though this is the 98 plus, the 98 plus is almost virtually identical in terms of spec to the regular 98, so they just add half an inch here, uh, thus changing the balance and the leverage on the shot. Um, the 98 plus uh, has this much space at the bottom of the from the bottom of the throat to that last cross versus this much, and that's the first thing I notice. And you could also kind of, I could tell like right here in person, looking at both racket right in front of me, that this area at the base of the throat is also thicker compared to the previous generation. It's especially apparent on the 98, so I'm gonna try and line them up front to back, front to back. I, I don't know if you could see it, but this part is thicker, and clearly this part is thicker on the new 98 up top. Um, and then, just side to side, right here is where the new 98 gets thinner. Right about here, uh, if we're able to line them up correctly. And then, just overall in, this, in terms of shape, I think this might be a function of the 98 plus being um, slightly different in the throat area. It also feels like it's thinner right here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, so primarily, I'm going to be mostly just trying out the 95 because um, even though I'm not that advanced of a player, the 95 seems to just gravitate uh, to my particular playing style. It allows me to get a nice spinny forehand uh, and the 18, uh, 16 by 20 pattern also allows me to hit a flatter backhand without any penalties. Um, from the one-handed backhand. Uh, maybe someday I should just learn how to hit the dual two-handed, but you know, I'm a little too old for that. I can't really teach an old dog a new trick. So um, I think that's it. I hope this will give somebody an opportunity to take a look at these rackets and go, oh, you know, that's that's the feature I'm looking for, or you know, that's the spec I'm looking for. Uh, I really do like how these newer sticks feel though, uh, compared to the 2000, 21s, even this 98 feels great uh, when you hit the ball right. I think the one thing that they've done right uh, with this particular generation is that it feels fantastic now when you do hit the ball. Uh, in fact, it feels a little bit like the E zones um, when you hit the ball just right. Uh, and even when you shank it, it doesn't feel as bad. 
Um, so like I, I was trying to explain earlier, it, with, the, with the 2021s, uh, when you shank, it feels bad, but it's, it feels bad in a very muted way. Like, um, and, and when I first switched over in 95, um, I actually had a little problem of getting a uh, tennis elbow for about a week. Um, I think primarily because of, again, the one-handed back end is conducive to, you know, straighten out the elbow. I was getting it right here on the back of my elbow for about a week, um, but I, that's mostly from like when I do miss hit with a 95, you know, even though it's muted and dampened, that vibration travels up and I still get that, um, that hint of twinge of pain uh, uh, when I miss hit in that first couple of weeks. Uh, so that's why since then I've switched from using a poly to a multi-filament string to hopefully help me uh, alleviate that problem. And it has, like I haven't really felt any of that pain since I switched back to a multi-filament for, for the time being. Um, maybe eventually when the arm gets strong enough and um, you know, I'll try and switch back to a thinner, softer uh, poly on the 95 again. Um, but yeah, for the time being, that's why I asked for multi-filaments on all these demos. I would have uh, more or less a one-to-one -on -one, one -on -one comparison rather than comparing to a poly versus a multi-filament string. Um, so yeah, hopefully the sky clears up outside. Uh, I'd be able to go outside and get some hits in, either with my daughter or against the machine, or maybe against one of the legends, um, and be able to complete this video sometime soon. See ya.